Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do one of my favourite things. I'm going to make a pie, a chicken and mushroom pie, oh yeah. I think chicken and mushroom is probably one of the UK's favourite pie flavours or savoury pie fillings. And it's rich and tasty and quite easy to make. So we all love a good pie, don't we? If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's make a chicken and mushroom pie. Okay, I'm going to start off by making the pastry. Don't be scared, it's really simple. I'm making hot water pastry, which is perfect for this kind of pie. And it's what's used for pork pies and such like. And it might have a reputation for being difficult, which is completely undeserved. I think it's actually the easiest pastry in the world to make. But if you don't fancy doing that, you can buy ready-made pastry. And I recommend short crust pastry rather than puff or flaky, which I really don't like very much. I've got 300 grams of plain all-purpose flour, about half a teaspoon of salt stirred into that. And I've got 75 grams of lard and 75 grams of butter. You could use all butter, you could use all lard, or you could use shortening, depending on where you are and what you can get and what you like. And I've got 150 ml of water. So what we need to do is heat that up and melt the fat into that. I forgot to mention, I've chopped the fat into small bits because they'll melt more quickly. So the fat's all melted into the hot water and I'll just pour half of it in with the flour. Stir that in. And then add the rest of it. And stir that in. And when that's all mixed together, tip it out onto some plastic film and stick that in the fridge to cool down for half an hour. So for the filling, you want chicken and mushroom. I've got 300 grams of chicken breast. I've got 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms. I've got a medium onion, a small handful of tarragon, 250 ml of milk, a um, couple of tablespoons of double cream, some salt, some white pepper, 250 ml of chicken stock, and uh, we also need some flour and a bit of butter to make a roux with. So first thing to do is peel and chop the onion and chop, slice, dice the mushrooms and pre-cook them before we make the sauce itself. Now I'll chop up the mushrooms. So pull the stalks off and just kind of dice them like that. If there's any muck on your mushrooms, just brush it off. Modern cultivated mushrooms are usually pretty clean. Now we're going to saute the onions and mushrooms so just heat up some oil in a heavy bottom pan and then pop the onions in and let them cook for five to ten minutes gently till they're softened but not browned. Then add the mushrooms and let those cook until they've released most of their moisture and then we'll take those out of the pan and set them aside. Now I'm just gonna prep my chicken. The, these are, I don't know what they are, they're, I think they're not full chicken breasts, they're those mini fillets. Uh, I didn't want to buy a huge amount of chicken because I'm just doing this one pie. And in fact, I'll probably end up doing more than one pie. Now I'll put that in the fridge until we're ready for it and wash anything that's been in contact with the raw chicken. I'm just going to chop this fresh tarragon from our garden. Now we'll start making the sauce. So we'll start off by melting about 25 grams of butter in the heavy bottom pan and then stir in the same amount of flour and stir that till you get a nice smooth paste. Then add the milk and stir that in and when it starts to thicken you can add the stock. And the mushrooms and onions and the chicken and then the flavourings, the tarragon, some white pepper and some salt to taste. 
Let that cook for about 10 minutes and then if you're happy with the taste take it off the heat and let it cool down a bit. So that's bubbling away I'll just give it another minute or two. When you first put the chicken in resist the temptation to taste the sauce because you have got raw chicken in there and you know you, you might pick up something nasty but you can taste it after 10 minutes or so. I just did taste it it's absolutely fantastic so I don't think I'll bother putting in the cream it's just splendid the way it is. So take that off the heat let it cool down and meanwhile make pie casings. Now we're going to run out the pastry so you want some flour on your worktop. So I've just got um, about a third of the dough and this will be the lid for our traditional enamel pie dish. <laughs> just cut around the edge and set that aside. Now I've got another piece of dough and I'm going to roll that out and that will be the, the base or the case. And I've buttered the inside of this tin because there's no way that's not a stick. And I'll chuck some rice flour in there as well. And on the dough. Just press it down. It's quite it's quite a deep dish, so it's gonna be a a lot of filling in this lovely pie. Just trim off the excess. Okay, filling's cooled down and pastry is cool and rested. And um, so I, I used the leftover pastry to make three little ones. And I really have used every last shred of pastry. Chuck your filling in. Actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do the, the little ones because they might end up with nothing in. Okay, needn't have worries. Those little ones are full, the big one is very full. Possibly a little bit over full, but never mind. So I'm going to moisten the rim with water and pop the lid on. Press it down all around and then tidy up the edge a bit. And now I'm just going to press down with a fork just to just to make it look a little bit more interesting <laughs> and I'll just lift it up a bit from the rim so that uh, it doesn't stick. Now we need to glaze it. So for the egg wash you want one egg and one splash of milk and just whiz those together and paint the top of the pie all over. And I'm just going to make some holes in the top with a fork to let the steam out, which I don't always do, and I don't always think it's necessary, but I'm a bit worried about this one. Now you want your oven heated to 210 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven, or air fryer oven. <laughs> That's 230 for a conventional one, and that has gas six and then we'll pop them in. I think I'll give the, the smaller ones 25 minutes and the bigger one will probably take longer, maybe 35 minutes, but we'll see. Okay, time's up, let's see how we're doing. <laughs> I think we're doing all right, these look, these look good. This area here doesn't look cooked, so it's going back in for another 10 minutes. Okay, time's up again. Oh yeah. Okay, not the neatest bit of serving ever, but um, looks fabulous and smells amazing. Finally. It's taste test time. Oh yeah. Chicken. Mmm. Soft, tender, tasty, juicy. Mmm. -mm. Mushroom. And pastry.
That is delicious. Get it made. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>